okay so let's look at this problem from operating system consider three CPU intensive processes which require 10 20 and 30 time units okay and they arrive at times 0 2 and 6 respectively how many context switches are needed if the operating system implements a shortest remaining time first scheduling algorithm okay do not count the context switches at time 0 and at the end okay so out here we have three CPU processes okay and they require these 10 20 and 30 time units and they arrive at these different 0 2 and 6 times and then we have to tell how many context switches are needed so context switches you know when uh, one process is running and then uh, th this process is replaced by this other process okay so that's context switch and so how many of those context switches will be needed if shortest remaining time first scheduling algorithm is uh, implemented okay so in this case the algorithm that has shortest remaining time is is run first okay that's this algorithm so let's do this thing let's first have a timeline okay so suppose this is the timeline okay and then what we'll do is we'll have uh, this zero like this okay one and so on so there is this two and three four like this you go and then you have six like this okay and then what you know is that this process so there is a process that arrives at time zero okay and there is this another process that arrives at time 2 and there is this another process that arrives at time 6 and then you have to you have to run them in the order of shortest remaining time so the first process that arrives at this time 0 is it needs 10 units okay so it it will run okay at this time another will come with 20 so this first process okay so i'll, I'll call these processes p0 p1 and p2 okay this p0 p1 and p2 with with their different times like this 10 20 and 30 times so this p0 will run first and it will keep on running at 2 the another process will come which is 20 which needs 20 time units so p0 is still uh, 8 we still have 8 time units so it's shorter so so p0 will keep on going keep on going okay and then when this process comes it needs 30 which is still greater so p0 will keep on going up till this point that is 10 okay that 10 time units and and then what is the next one with shortest remaining time will be p1 with 20 time units okay and then uh, for from 10 for another 20 time units it will run that is at 30 what we will see we will see that another process the last one with 30 with 30 time units will start running at this point which is point uh, p2 and this will run up till 60 okay so that's what we have so far okay so this is what will happen in case of shortest remaining time first and so the context switches you have to count the context switches but we don't we don't count the context switches at time 0 and at the end so when process p0 started there must have been a context switch out here but we don't count this time and when p2 ended out here this must be a context switch out here we don't count this so there is one context switch out here and there is another context switch out here and we count only these two and that means that it is uh, two context switches.